Hello friends, today we'll be talking about the biosynthesis of the three phosphoglyceric acid family of amino acids. This family includes three amino acids that is serine, glycine and cysteine. The first amino acid to be synthesized is serine from three simple steps by 3-phosphoglycerate. The next is glycine by a simple removal of carbon from serine. The synthesis of cysteine includes an extra step for addition of sulfur. Plants and bacteria get it this sulfur from environmental sulfates whereas mammals they produce this amino acids from two other amino acids that is methionine and serine. So come on, let's have a deeper look in the synthesis of these three amino acids. The formation of serine has a similar pathway in almost all organism. It starts with 3-phosphoglycerate which undergoes the first step of oxidation by phosphoglycerate dehydrogenase. The removed hydrogens are accepted by NAD+, forming NADH and H+. 3-phosphoglycerate after oxidation of the hydroxyl group gets converted to 3-phosphohydroxypyruvate. This 3-phosphohydroxypyruvate undergoes transamination by phosphoserine aminotransferase. The amino group is added by glutamate. This then forms 3-phosphoserine. Glutamate gets converted to alpha-ketoglutrate. 3-phosphoserine is hydrolyzed and forms serine by the removal of phosphate by phosphoserine phosphatase. This results in the formation of the first amino acid of this family that is serine. Serine serves as a precursor for the next amino acid that is glycine. It undergoes a removal of one carbon that is the beta carbon or the C3 of serine. The removed carbon is accepted by tetrahydrofolate which then gets converted to N5N10-methylene tetrahydrofolate. The reaction is catalyzed by serine hydroxymethyl transferase which also requires pyridoxyl phosphate for its activity. The next amino acid in the sequence is cysteine. Formation of cysteine requires the incorporation of reduced sulfur. Plants and bacteria obtain this sulfide from the environmental sulfates. The environmental sulfates undergo a two-step activation to form 3'-phosphoadenosine 5'-phosphosulfate that is PAPS. This PAPS then undergoes a 8-electron reduction to form sulfide. The sulfide is then incorporated into serine by two steps, where serine is first acted upon by serine acetyl transferase to form O acetyl serine. This O acetyl serine incorporates the reduced sulfide to form cysteine. In mammals, the pathway is different. In mammals, the synthesis of cysteine requires two amino acids. First is methionine which serves as a source for sulfur and other is serine which serves as a source for carbon skeleton. Methionine is first converted to S-adenosyl methionine. This then loses its methyl group to form S-adenosyl homocysteine. This is then further hydrolyzed to form free homocysteine. The free homocysteine then combines with serine in a reaction catalyzed by cystathione beta synthase. This results in the formation of cystathionine. This cystathionine is acted upon by cystathionine gamma lyase via the removal of amino group and results in the formation of alpha-ketoglutrate and cysteine.